everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is uh, being filmed in my kitchen because that is where the best lighting is happening. <laughs> so uh, the box that I have is a box from ThreadUp and it's actually from the ThreadUp outlet. And um, I sourced basically on the ThreadUp outlet so that I could resell on Poshmark, eBay, Mercari, wherever platforms that I sell on. Um, before I get into the video though, I don't sell really high-end designer brands, so if you're thinking you're gonna find some really awesome brands like that in my haul, you're not going to. Um, it's mostly like, you know, lower end, sometimes uh, middle price type of things. I don't mean like lower end, like Walmart or something like that. Um, but just, I guess, things that a lot of people personally wouldn't flip. Um, I do flip a lot of Ann Taylor, Ann Taylor Loft, lots of Loft. Banana Republic, J. Crew, things like that. Um, some anthropology, some urban outfitters. So it's kind of, I guess, like mall brands, I guess you could call them. Um, so those are my go to's because that's what a lot of my customers like. And that's what works for my closet. And uh, there's no right or wrong way to do it. So if you like designer high end brands, I am not the girl to come to. Um, but you can find those in the outlet. You still have to pay a little bit extra. Um, but they're really good to flip. Um, so when I was searching for stuff in the outlet to source, I looked for stuff that was either new with tags or like new. I tried to avoid purchasing anything that had wear on it because ThreadUp's wear might be different from my wear. And if there's like a small hole, no big problem, things still sell, small stain, you can get it out. But if there's a lot of wear like pilling or um, snags, holes that are just, you know, abundant, obviously, it, you're not you're not gonna sell it for very much um, but of course if it were for me I really wouldn't care because you know <laughs> it doesn't really matter I wear a lot of the rejected clothes from sourcing so anyway let's get into this haul I purchased 20 items when everything was said and done I think it all came out to about five dollars and like 80 cents per item I believe that's what it was um, so the box comes with pretty little tissue paper, um, says gold digging since 2009, sealing deal since 2009, um, oh, well, yes, I definitely need these, um, okay, I don't remember what brands I picked up, I will say that I did pick up, like, a whole bunch of J. Crew. um, I did pick up some, I think maybe one anthropology thing because they didn't really have very many new with tags like new anthropology things. Um, but one of the first things that I'm going to pick up, and this comes with the Fred Up, Fred Up, <laughs> Fred Up tag. Um, obviously, going to take that off. But these are Banana Republic. Oh boy, size 29. Um, they're just really nice jeans. So they have like a little bit of like a faded effect to them. This isn't, you know, because they've been washed a million times. They're just really nice. Um, they looked really nice on ThreadUp. Um, they look nice on per in person. Um, so if these don't sell and they fit me, I'm probably going to keep them. But they're really nice jeans. I like those. Okay, the next item that I'm going to show you are these Ann Taylor Loft. Um, these are a size 8. These are linen. And they're very nice, like this pinkish type color. Um, and then they come with a little belt. So they're really nice. They're linen. They're perfect for summer. They're perfect for spring. And like I said, a lot of people purchase Ann Taylor from me, loft pieces from me. And the fact that they're a size 8, they should do fairly well. And I tried to avoid getting things that were smalls, extra smalls, because if you don't filter out the, the search features or anything like that, you come across a lot of smalls, extra smalls, extra, extra smalls. And there's nothing wrong with that whatsoever. It's just if I get too many small things in my closet, they don't tend to sell as fast. So a lot of things will just sit there. That doesn't mean I don't pick up those items. It's just that I don't focus on picking up just that size. Just like I don't focus on picking up like size eights or size tens. Like I don't, I don't discriminate with size, but at the same time I like to have a variety of size. Um, so this skirt I actually have in my closet a size zero. 
So I found this in the size eight and the one with the size zero needs to be relisted because it has, you know, a bunch of interest on eBay, on Mercari, on Poshmark, but no movement because it does take a while, but I really like this skirt. It has pockets. It's a size eight, uh, J. Crew factory, really nice skirt. Perfect for summer. Perfect for honestly, like the office. It's a very nice casual shirt I, or skirt. I can see it with a white shirt and some really nice um, sandals, wedges, espadrilles, that kind of thing. Oh, uh, I was really hoping that this shirt would look really nice because it looked nice on the website, but of course, once you get it, that's when it looks better. I picked up this Banana Republic blouse. It is long sleeve. It's got like these little really pretty draped bell sleeve type things. I know this is more for the fall, but I don't really, I list things when I find them. I don't wait until seasons or anything like that. Um, I forgot what material this was. It is a rayon spandex type blouse. It's really nice, really pretty. So in a lot of places, it's still a little bit cool. So this is a really uh, nice casual type blouse. Um, <clears throat> excuse me, my allergies are just getting the best of me. So again, this is another loft piece. These are size 28.6. And I think these are a tall because there's a T on top of the 28. So uh, thread up sometimes misses certain details and that's one of them. But these are really nice jeans. Even someone short like me, we could just cuff them. We could hem them, whatever the case may be. But again, these are a loft, and these will sell pretty well for me. They normally do. Um, next shirt. This is really nice. This is a, another loft piece, go figure. But this is loft loft. This is an Ann Taylor loft. Um, this is a size medium. It's just a nice button down with this really pretty embroidery. So perfect for any time, honestly. It's got these really nice bell sleeves. Real nice shirt. Um, it's definitely cotton. I don't see the uh, tag right away, but I'm not gonna go searching for it, but it's definitely a cotton. I wouldn't say it's 100% cotton, but it's definitely cotton. Um, I actually found this same shirt on Poshmark in a small, um, this is a medium. And I was gonna buy it, but uh, it did. I ran out of time to accept the offer. So we'll just have to wait a little bit. But this is a really nice shirt. This is another loft piece. This is Ann Taylor loft, this is a medium. I like this. This has these cute little straps. It's off the shoulder or cold shoulder, off the shoulder type of thing. Really nice and roomy, very pretty. Perfect for summer. Um, <laughs> okay, more Banana Republic. Um, this is a size 26, skinny ankle. And it's got these really neat uh, paint splatters and distressing on them. I'm not sure if this was made by the manufacturer that way or if it was hand distressed. But either way, it's a really cool look. I like it. Um, I like the distressing, the paint splatters just add a nice little touch to it. So I'm not sure. Oh, and it has this really neat uh, zipper detail at the ankle. Again, I'm not sure if somebody just did that in the front and then they just donated them to thread up. But either way, it's nice. I'll, I'll disclose that in the listing that I'm not sure if it came that way or, you know, if it, somebody did it. Um, this is a scarf. I know I normally don't pick up scarves um, because a lot of the times they're like from the Dollar Tree whenever I find them. <laughs> but this is Crown and Ivy and uh, for me Crown and Ivy is kind of like Lily Pulitzer's like cousin or something like that. Um, they have the same type of style going on but Crown and Ivy is more darker colors like more oranges, darker oranges and purples and, you know, darker blues, that kind of thing. It doesn't really have like the Lily Pulitzer, like you, you, you see a pattern and you know that that's Lily Pulitzer. Like Crown and Ivy is kind of, it, it tries to look like it, but not really. Um, 
I wouldn't compare it like great value to like the name brand or anything, but I guess if that's the comparison you want to go with it, that would be it. But uh, yeah, it's a little bit more affordable. And this scarf is new with tags and I absolutely love selling Crown and Ivy. Um, it's got these really neat tassels, just this real pretty um, thing. I like this. I really like that. I think it's really lovely. Um, I have to do another once over on it just to make sure there's no snags or anything like that because even though it's new with tags, you could always miss a few things. Sometimes thread up does do that, but you know, it's a gamble. It's also like when you're sourcing, you come home under like the light and you see all sorts of things that you missed at the store. Uh, this is a Zara basic uh, denim size medium dress. It's an off the shoulder dress. So it's just really neat, really nice, you know, nice for summer. Um, it is sheer, um, like a little bit sheer. So if you're okay with not wearing a slip, that's good. Um, so the care tag has been cut, but it is like a cotton material. Um, whew, Lordy. <laughs> I don't know how many items that is, but we still have a few to go. Uh, the next one is this Vintage Havana Romper, and the only reason I know it's a Vintage Havana Romper without looking at the tag is because I stared at this thing for about 10 minutes before deciding that I actually wanted to purchase it. Um, I don't see anything on here, unless I'm missing it. Oh, here it is. Vintage Havana, established 1954. I don't see the size, but Thread Up said it was a small. Again, I'll have to, oh, here it is. Sorry, things are just like, it's a small. So anyway, so this is really nice. It's got a really nice back, uh, cut out back, um, with the little ties. Very pretty, love it. All right, I'm gonna have to start putting things back because I'm running out of room. Okay, ooh. This is so much prettier in person. This is a Banana Republic extra small sweater shirt with these really nice gems on them. This is gorgeous. I uh, just need to make sure that all of these are still on there and if anything's missing, I'm sure it'll still sell. Some people might just like it, you know, and do their own little thing. But this is so neat. I love that design. I mean, what else do you need, right? Like, this is so pretty. I love seeing like plain t-shirts with like embroidery and beading and things like that. Like it really looks really nice. It makes something kind of like plain pop and you don't really need to accessorize it too much. Um, the next thing is this Ann Taylor Loft size six. There is a giant fuzz on it. Where did it go? Um, anyway, <laughs> This really pretty shirt, I'm actually gonna try it on and see if it fits me. Um, and I might keep it just because I like the design. It's got these really cool, uh, like, eyelet type of things. It's really pretty embroidery. I like the, uh, the neckline. Oh, there it is. I like the neckline. Very pretty. Um, can't remove the straps, but they are adjustable, so that works. Alright, get out of the way! What is this? Ooh, here we go, more loft! <laughs> I'm telling you, I sell it, so there's probably like three more loft things in here. I don't care. <laughs> um, the sleeves are really nice, I like the, the look of it, it's kind of like this nice loose fit. It's a size small, very pretty floral pattern. I mean, that's really that's really all there is to that one. Um, oh yeah, speaking of some more loft, a dress. This is a size small. This is regular loft. This is actually new with tags. It originally retailed for God, God uh, eighty nine dollars. So this is nice. It's a little bit short, but it's got a really pretty overlay with some velvet it would seem and it comes with a slip underneath so that's perfect um this i think is a j crew size 8 skirt 
So I'm not gonna lie, I almost didn't buy this skirt because even though I liked the pattern, I thought it was pretty, I didn't think the colors really popped on the screen. And I'm seeing it in person and the colors are just gorgeous. So I'm really glad that I took the chance and purchased it. Um, it is pleated, very beautiful, floral skirt. So I'm really looking forward to listing this one. Um, I have another Zara blouse. This is a size medium. It's Zara collection. It's just like this cropped blouse. And it's got these really neat like stretchy type sleeves. So that's going to be fun to photograph. It might actually run a little bit smaller. It might actually be like a small because this sometimes certain Zara things tend to run a little small, but I really like this in the front and the sleeves. I really love the sleeves. Um, we're almost there. We've got three more items. All right. Another loft, this beautiful pink blouse, this gorgeous, um, embroidery and these like laser cut type things um it is lined no it's not just kidding i thought it was lined wait no it's not i mean it is lined in the back but it's not lined in the front so definitely if you if you like to be a little bit more modest wear like a tank top underneath it this is really nice i love it i love the design i love the color gorgeous um this is a lil it's an anthropology blouse size six really beautiful purple orange flowers with a little drawstring in the front very nice blouse perfect 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 and then the last item thanks for sticking with me, is this bodysuit. And this is a Staring at Stars size large. It's Urban Outfitters. Um, I thought it was new with tags, but I guess I was wrong. I guess it was like new. But either way, it is a bodysuit. And it's just like this really neat velvet bodysuit with the little cutout. It has the... Um, the clasp at the bottom so this would be this is really neat so hopefully this does well um i'm not seeing like my little invoice or anything uh what does it say this is us so it's got like a you know this is thread up kind of thing i'm not seeing my invoice in here so who knows who knows where it is well anyway so those are supposed to be 20 items. I will count them to double check. Um, I don't memorize every single little thing that I get, but I'm really excited about listing all the things. Um, I think the one of the items that I'm not too happy about, not because it's not good or whatever, is um, the uh, these loft jeans. I think they are tall and tall items tend to sit for a while for me, like a very long while. So we'll see. But um, everything else was great. Um, I loved all of the blouses that I got, the different colors. Um, you can mix and match so many items. Um, I think, I don't know, like it's hard to pick a favorite, but everything looked really great. Everything looks the way that it was described. Um, unfortunately, ThreadUp only gives you two photos, um, the front of the item and the back of the item. You don't ever see the tag, so you're not sure if, the J. Crew or the Madewell or the Loft or Cabby, Talbots, whatever brand that you prefer where you know the old uh, old tag from the new tag, you don't get to see that part, but you get to read the description and kind of, I guess, use your best judgment. And also, if you look at a certain pattern, you can kind of tell if it's new or old um, after a while. But I hope you liked this haul. I hope it was uh, good. And if you're one of those people that sells mall brands or things like that just fine and you feel like shopping the thread up outlet would be good for you i highly recommend it the more items you put into your cart the more money you save i saved 40 percent altogether, so it was like i don't even know how much money i saved but i ended up spending around five dollars and 80 or 60 something cents per item 
which is actually pretty good considering um, the jeans here in my area go for $7.99, um, tops here are for like $3, that kind of thing, $3 to $5, so it just depends. I feel like I spent around how much I would also with free shipping. So yeah, um, I hope, hope you like this video and I hope that you're able to check out the ThreadUp outlet and find stuff that works for you. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.